We have a new mission, Commander. Even though Lachesis is supposed to be waiting for Kane's reply, the invasions haven't slowed at all. Fresh Cylon forces have landed on Burgon, Leonis, Geminon, and Pycon. I thought we were trying to negotiate peace terms. They're keeping up pressure to force us into a bad decision. It's exactly what I do, too. Kane was recently contacted by Prince Stefan, Duke of Hadrian. The Vergon royal family evacuated Petra's palace a few days ago, ahead of a fresh wave of Cylon ground forces. They're safe at a classified muster point, but Stefan has asked for a colonial fleet escort out of the system. And Kane denied the request, right? We have bigger concerns than some lost royals who want their hands held. No, no, she did not. The Prince has been our most influential negotiator and ally with the Quorum. Colonial Fleet probably wouldn't even be flying without his help. We're to meet the Royal Transfer at the Muster Coordinates and escort them safely to Aralon. Now, if anyone has issues with their orders, I suggest you go take it up with Admiral Kane and not the friendly signals officer just trying to do her job. Okay, we're going to try and knock off a major mission here. We've got some maintenance to do on the fleet to make sure that everything is prepared. We've got no builds going on right now. We're building up our funding for that. We are growing. Cylon have been pretty much stopped by my large fleet. This is Major Mission 7 of the Sin and Sacrifice campaign. This is Mercury Actual, otherwise known as Unix in the Discord. Schmuel's Gaming and Trains. Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, the only game I play. So we're just running down the fleet, make sure that uh, all damaged fleets are taken care of so that they can fight another round without uh, getting killed for not having repairs. Fast, real fast way to get a fleet destroyed is to fly it without repairs. My forces are being whittled down, but that is also reducing my cost of operations. So I'm using expensive weapons like EMPs. So I'm doing a budget reduction in blood and guts. Quite unlike what a real military would do. Okay, let's see here what we have. Uh, Fleet 785. Pretty much ideal except for the Battlestar. Battlestar is not a great choice for this mission, but we're going to try it and see what happens. Uh, having failed this mission once, I know exactly what's going to happen. I don't need to jump, we just need to end turn and take the yes prompt. Let's see if this is a better fleet though. The SG-21, that's not a better fleet for this mission. SG 931, that's definitely not a good fleet for this mission. One thing I might want to do is give them a, battle, a better battle star. Do a rearrangement of the fleet. Uh, let's zoom in there and see if we can get a, get a better battle star in the fleet before we jump into the mission. Um, okay, so we'll, touch, we'll jump this battle star in. 240 Tillion? No, we're not going to jump in. Oh. They could fly the mission, that wouldn't be horrible. Um, the light on firepower, no, not the light on firepower. I think that's a better fit for this mission. That's 240 is the jump cost, that's hard, pretty pricey. Let's instead use the other fleet with a better battle star. We'll rearrange them. We'll send Lawson in there. And maybe we'll have Lawson take the mission, actually. She's only a 440 t tillion jump costs. She goes in, and we hit enter, and we confirm the jump. And we end the turn. We'll have to do Once again, we'll have to maintain our fleet so that any forces that got battled... Okay, let's see what's happening. 11,300. We've got no fleets big enough to take that. So we're going to do a sacrificial adamant. All right, we want PSG 21, but we're going to want to rearrange the firepower, take out two of the battle stars, put in 
firepower pushing the fleet, so we're not going to do the mission. The fortified colony is under attack. Okay, 8,000, 8,000, resolve, auto resolve. Done, Second victory. Second mission one throughout fleet. Auto resolve, we lose. Okay, we. Uh, what's that? No, we postpone that mission. We do some battle, battle star rearrangement after we go through the fleet and we fix the repa repairs. I always go through and do repairs, even if it causes a financial drain, because it, it's a shame to build a fleet and, and lose a great admiral because you didn't provide maintenance for the troops. So it's very important to always do maintenance, <coughs> do your thing. And okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, so now we do the rearrangement. Um, we'll jump in here and we'll eject. Um, I want Lawson to fight this battle. Okay, we're going to eject two experienced battle stars. Um, we're going to detach, and, det and we're going to detach, and now we're going to go to the other, the other Battlestar group. That's 21. Hard to navigate this menu, I'll be honest with you. Okay, there. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we want, we want to transfer the 900. To PSG 21, that's Evil Lawson's uh, Battlestar. I'm going to transfer that to PSG 21. <coughs> transfer that to PSG 21. I don't recall that being a big, big air game. So, oh, 7,000, 8,000. Uh, 8, Let's put in a 950. Could bring some artillery on. And that's good. And now let's rebuild the other Battlestar group with the wreckage from Lawson's Battlestar group. All right, we're gonna do transfer you into 785. And transfer you in 785. That at least makes it competitive. All right, end the turn. We'll save the game right before the mission in case Detected it goes bad. Base star group, sir. All right, um, we're going to delay that confrontation even further. <coughs> I don't want to deal with that right now. Sacrifice. All right, um, BC 21 is going to take it. That's Lawson. Hostiles. Okay, um, auto resolve. A fortified colony is under attack. All right, we're going to proceed and jump out of this mission. <coughs> Retreat. It's cheaper than paying the emergency jump fee. We'll still have 45 minutes to get the mission done. So slow. Right. Trait. Dirty Italian, that's not bad price. Yes, Commander. Make it full of offensive. We'll hit him and run. And turn, two more turns, and we're out. 
a battle star is a terrible thing to waste. And if you save it for 30, well, look inside that Cylon fleet. Ah! Yeah, there'll be no scouting on this mission. We're going to get, get out of Dodge and get out of Dodge quickly. Bing, bing. Yes, sir. Not going to launch fighters. Launched our sacrificial torpedoes. We're going to scratch the paint and run. Wow, look at all those fighters. Just don't get shot. Bye-bye, Silence. Bye-bye. Proceed. Now, in the second season game with these failed missions, uh, tend to get the Cylon threat level higher and make them be, be more aggressive. Doesn't seem to have the same impact here. The Cylons are pretty passive right now because I'm pretty much whomping on them. This is a spoiler. If you haven't done this mission ever, and, you, and this is not a hard mission to win, I'll tell you that right off the bat. You gotta be prepared, but it's not a hard mission to win. This is gonna be a stack formation, a special stack formation with the two battle stars. And let's see, we're gonna center them up. I want to be able to flak both directions. I don't want to be in a self-flacking scenario. I want uh, I want uh, a stack that can turn on a dime. That means putting a Minotaur below the battle stars and a Minotaur above the battle stars. And that's probably all it'll fit in the stack. If I can get another one under there, I'd be happy, but he's probably going to get shot out from under me anyway. Alright, let's take a look here. Alright, that's, that that's not a turn scenario at all. It's not going to work. I'm basically trying to stack them and provide the best possible flak protection but the ability to turn in case my armor gets weak because I know I'm going to get hit on both two sides here and I think the Janus is going to get clobbered but I need the points Okay, one final adjustment, make sure the ships are, for, are the right forward, and the top ship here 
in this little mini stack. Appears not to be forward enough. goal is to have this, the pedestals be in one stack that gives you the best turn capabilities possible and it's all straight and happy and there we go um, we want EMP generators on this mission so we want to slam the Cylons although that may not work I'm going to try it this way and see how it works. It's the worst that can happen. It doesn't work. Okay. Now that's the mission. Ten twenty-one p.m. Got 39 minutes to finish Prepare the mission. To jump in three, two, one. Jump complete. I have a positive identification on the escort objective. I thank you again, Lucinda. You understand how important my family's safety is to me. Vergon has been a close and loyal ally of Colonial Fleet, Your Highness. We will see them safely to Aerolon. All right, this is going to be a fleet ambush. I've lost this mission several hours ago, and I know exactly what's going to happen. Understood. Watching the fighters. <coughs> Gonna boost all the ships forward. Control A. Except for the uh, Celestra, we don't want to boost him forward. We'll maintain him here. Yes, sir. Uh, for all the good it'll do, he'll buff the armor on the Battlestar Athena forward armor. Launching drones. And the ship wants to go higher so he can launch missiles. He's going to get slammed. He's Onyx, sacrificial uh, lamb in this scenario. All right. Um, Now the fighters have launched. I'm going to send the fighters all forward to protect the shuttle. Put them all in the same squadron. Control one. Control. Control one. Control one. Instructions are to defend that ship. Think back of it. Colonial shuttle. We're boosting and we turn on flak next turn. End turn. these dead ships gathered in the one place. It feels disrespectful to be poking around, like playing in a cemetery. Sinan would have loved it. I'm not sure why you would use it as an evacuation point for your royal figureheads, though. Convenience. Most people would have forgotten it even exists. And those that remember are of a generation that would not bother the dead, even to find a living. Okay, Battlestar Artillery. We're going to keep boosting to get there fast, and we say H, 
right, left, your other left. It's my favorite admiral here, H, right, because we're going to get hit from both sides, I'm thinking. That's what they did last time. Maybe it's not going to do the same thing. And uh, I'm seeing aircraft. All right. They get flacked, they get flacked. Need the buff to protect the admiral. The Mercury. I don't know what buff means. It has something to do with gaming lingo. All right, we've got pretty good lock on the shuttle. We just need to get it on course to rendezvous with our fleet. Well, the Cylons show up. The Cylons always show up. Made it through the graveyard, okay. This is cool. I have a feeling I, I remember playing this now a year ago. Ugh. I think I'm in for a really bad surprise. Whoa. Hostile activity coming from inside the graveyard. I don't see any new Dreadus marks. Crack! It's the dead ships. Silence are hacking the wreckages and taking remote control of their systems. Send out fighter screens. Protect the Vergon transport at all costs. Play. Take off boost. Full offensive. Okay, that's good. Um, let's see what we have here. We'll hit. They're not moving, so we should be able to fire them up with torpedoes. Z. Yeah. X. Yes, Commander. C. And these guys will fire at the other target with their massive guns, and they'll slow down to <coughs> do something about the transport. Silence gonna jump in soon. Target, target. Target, target. I don't want to do that one. I'm gonna do the other one because I think the missiles are gonna take out the. Uh -huh. Yeah, decommissioned Janus might be a problem. Okay. Fighters are still fighting to protect this guy. I don't know if he's gonna like flak. I don't think he's gonna like flak very much at all. Do it. Escort clearance zone is active. Dreda's contacts, hostile and closing distance. Okay, we just gotta take the Cylons out. 
as fast as we can. Concentrate all guns in the same direction. Take advantage of the Janus artillery as long as she lasts. She didn't get killed. <coughs> Gotta jump in there and fix my collision problem. Okay, that's not right. Yeah, I should have screwed that up. He's colliding with a battle star. Now he's not colliding with a battle star. And we're going to get to the point where we can put flak on one side and strengthen it up. And do target, target, closest target, wipe him out. That's not got much weapons on him, so I'm going to say let's go for the next target. That's a Cylon. That's what we want to kill. There's a big pile, though. Let's hope they're not all base stars. And what's he doing? Ah, three turns. <coughs> That's the problem with the Janus. His firing rate sucks. We've got some of his targets with secondary weapons as well. The Admiral Drama Llama talks more. We would have been grounded months ago without Stefan. Colonial Fleet would have been just one more abortive attempt between bickering children. Can you not hear yourself? You bemoan the politics of your job, but here you are, playing right into them. You've never lifted your head high enough to see how deep in the mire you've sunk. Stand down now, Admiral. I have been fighting this war from every side. Against the Cylons, against the Quorum, against headhunters like you. I am the only one holding this rotted dysfunction together, and I will not argue my worth in front of you or my crew. You do not have my job, Dougal. You were too busy throwing yourself into enemy hands for no good damn reason. I had to pick up the pieces left over from PyCon. My people had to save you and your Battlestar. You are reckless, you are short-sighted, and you are not better than me. Now get off my deck. Tough. Lucinda, huh? Wowzers. All right, we're gonna take the Battlestar. Flack and go double right with it. It's protecting all the ships, which is good because it's probably a lot of missiles coming in soon. And we'll just fly like this and lower ourselves to get better Battlestar artillery firing solutions and avoid the anti the virus crap and use our Admiral Boost to hit the targets hard. Arachne is our first target, no damage. Um, where are the fighters? Yeah, okay, they're... Don't really know where they are, to be honest with you. Uh, there's two nukes coming in. The secondary battery. Full attack goes fire at will. Not today, Jim. Nuke incoming. Jupiter is taking damage. Shit. How'd I get damaged by that? The nuke must have got too close. No right side armor. Gonna have to turn for do left side armor. Commander. Target something. That's why we're in this fast turn formation, because it, that Battlestar is going to take heavy damage this turn, but I should be able to save that armor facing and face it the, out, the outer direction. 
there's not like that many enemy ships. Depends on how many of these derelicts come after me. I saw the nuke coming. And turn. Hostile unit identified. Fighter squadron is taking fire. Jupiter is taking damage. Go two ways again because they're getting hit from the shipyards or the the ship cemetery. All right, we're going to continue our turn. We've got some got some problems. If we're getting hit by guns, we've got I lose the battle star and then have to do this recording again because I'm not going to accept the loss of my favorite admiral and her, and her battle star. Okay. Target, target. Arachne. Looking good. And let's start doing some EMPs. Missiles incoming. Minotaur is taking damage. Now let's go after my admirals. They're such meanies. Understood. Janus missiles and they're not even targeting her. It's interesting. All right, that looks like a target to me. Z. Missile tubes prepped. X. C. I'll have the, have the surviving uh, Celestra buff up the uh, weak right side of the Admiral's Battlestar. We're getting just, just we're getting shellacked here. Launching drones. It's a good fleet though. It should be able to take them. It'll last uh, three more turns, I think, and it'll slow down. Minotaur is taking damage. So lost the Minotaur. Time for some more Battlestar EMP radiation. Firepower has been dropped by about 15%. We got heavy damage to our cannon fodder ships. Big Star is a big target. He's got missiles and shit. Oh god, I gotta stop swearing on these YouTube videos. Target your guns. Yeah, I'm finally taking some hits too. Big Star, why not? This should actually end it pretty much. IFF confirms unit is hostile. Not a base star. Jupiter is taking damage. I think that should be. And we'll target. Uh, 
Jeez. Target everything at that guy behind me. He's firing up my battle star. Revenant has to die. Big star, we got time. I'd say we can turn the battle star artillery up. Uh, now that we've got some armor on the left side, we can turn the battle star. Black left. The star's getting hit too. Being coincidental, I think they'll switch fire to him anyway. Do it! Jupiter is taking damage. Missiles incoming! Jupiter, sir. Well, that's my admiral. I'm not going to save this mission, but I'll probably post the video anyway. That's just unfortunate. That was a winner combination. That should have worked. Trigger zone detected. Look at that, looks like I want to lose.
That got a little messy. We've got them now. All marks are dark. The Virgon Royals are safe from the Cylons and their own ships. Well, we're going to do the mission again because... Please pass on my sincerest thanks to Admiral Kane. <coughs> Virgon will find a way to repay this debt somehow. How about we start with a review of your decommissioning program? Delisted ships should not have that much ammunition still belted up. Lena, now might not be the time for joking around. That wasn't a joke. Right, right, sure. Everyone's tense because the bosses are fighting. This is probably a fine time for us to seat the deck for a little while, Commander. Well, it's worth, it's a good video. Okay, so I'm gonna load the campaign back and replay it, but now, now we know the mission pretty well. We can probably get it right next time. I'm not sacrificing my best admiral. For that, I'm just not gonna do that. <clears throat> 